In Greek mythology, Cerberus, the three-headed dog, is born of the union between Typhon and Echidna, making it the sibling of the Lernaean Hydra, the Nemean Lion, and Chimera. The name Cerberus, originating from Greek, can be translated as meat-eater or demon of the pit. Beyond its triple heads, Cerberus possesses a serpent tail and, in some renditions, a mane made of snakes. This fearsome creature resides in the underworld and serves as the guardian of the gates granting access to Hades' realm. Cerberus's duties include welcoming the souls of the deceased, often displaying a friendly demeanor if the departed has been interred with an offering to the dog. However, his disposition turns menacing should any spirit attempt to journey back to the world of the living. Some mortals, including the legendary Orpheus, manage to deceive Cerberus using artifacts. Orpheus enchanted the three-headed dog with his lyre, causing it to fall asleep during his quest to retrieve his beloved Eurydice. Another hero, the Trojan Aeneas, outwitted Cerberus by tossing a honey cake laced with a stupefying substance, allowing him to escape the clutches of the monstrous guardian. Hercules, the greatest of all heroes, encountered Cerberus during his renowned twelve labors. As part of his final task, Hercules sought permission from Hades to capture and bring Cerberus to King Eurystheus. The god granted permission on the condition that Hercules not use any weapons. The hero wrestled the fearsome beast with his bare hands, ultimately subduing it and bringing it to Eurystheus, who cowered in fear. Having fulfilled his last labor, Hercules was released from his obligation, and Cerberus returned to the underworld. However, the three-headed dog's appetite for mortals persisted. Perithous, daringly attempting to abduct Persephone, Hades' wife, met his demise as Cerberus devoured him as punishment. The iconic figure of the three-headed dog has permeated popular culture, appearing in games, comics, and movies such as Harry Potter. Despite its fascination, encountering the guardian of the underworld is a prospect most would prefer to avoid.